Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing something cool and it is a little bit inspired by Webflow and we are not going to be using any code. So we are going to harness the power of Elementor as it is. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start creating our structure. I'm going to add a container with row horizontal and let me set this margin top to 150 so we have some space on top. I will also remove any padding that I have in this container. We don't need the padding. Set the container to full width, 100%. And uh, that's all good. Let's add another container in this container. And I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to set this to full width as well. And remove padding. And that's it for now. And let's add in this container our element. So we are going to be using the icon list today. I honestly barely use this Elementor element, but I think for this use case, it's pretty useful. So I'm going to remove the text in here and I'm just gonna add my own text and I'm gonna say reach out now and for example i will also delete this icon so for example since we can add a link to that was my dog so since we can add a link to this text we can direct our users to a contact form for example in this case since we're saying they're to reach out now but you can think of uh, something else that your user can interact with and can be directed to so keep that in mind all right, I'm going to be keeping it as simple as this and let's go to style. I'm also going to align our list items to the, cent to the center of our container and I am going to go to change my text typography and I'm going to look for my font and I'm using Bayron. Yeah, that was it, Bayron. And I'm going to change the size of the font to 5 REM. I know it's big, but we want this to be a centerpiece that little thing that adds a lot to the page <laughs> if it makes any sense probably not okay let's change the color oh, god this is so annoying i'm going to change the color to a darker black okay so that is set and what we are going to do now is go back to our content, to our icon list content, and I am going to duplicate this item list about eight times. So in total, we should have nine items. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we have nine items, but as you can see, they are sitting like this in not in the position that we want it to be and so let's change the position so this is pretty easy just go to layout and switch the layout to inline all right but still we have an issue because we don't want it to look like this we want it to be actually in line in one line and not three lines like it is right now so let's go back to our icon list let's go to advanced and go to layout margins and switch the margin instead of pixels have it set to percentage and i'm going to set now my margin left and right to minus 200 pixel uh, percentage and as you can see it's already looking pretty cool it's not moving because there's something that we need to do in order for this to happen but before we do anything as you can see we have this nasty overflow happening here and we need to fix it so go in the con second container and go to layout go to additional options and set the overflow to hidden and the problem has been fixed as you can see we have no overflow all right let's go back to our icon list and what i'm gonna do is go to advanced go to motion effects and switch the scrolling effect to horizontal and leave it as it is left and speed of course the speed depends on you but viewports leave it as it is from zero to 100 percent and let's see how this looks as you can see it's moving left and right as you scroll the page so we can add another one of this right underneath and let me just remove the margin top 
and in this case we want it to move the other way around so go to your motion list go to horizontal crawl and switch the direction to right and now our text will move right and how cool is this it's just so simple but so interesting all right so I want to remove the top and bottom space that you can see here. I want the text to be a little bit more contained in the container, if it makes any sense. All right, so let's go back to our icon list and I'm going to go to typography and go all the way to line height and switch this to one EM and I'm going to go all the way to one. And as you can see, it's looking much, much better. So I'm going to do the same for the second element. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to go here, EM, and just switch to one. Okay, look at this, Doo -doo. All right, so, whoops. So let's also give this uh, container a background. Let's say, what colors do we have here? Shall we go with this one? Okay, that's for that and this one a different color. Let's play around a little bit with this one. Haha, -ha, look at that. And basically you can use your imagination to style this as you want. And let's see how actually this looks on tablet. yeah we have to do some adjustments basically we have to change the size of the text it's way too big so let's go all the way to three point hmm. we could leave it four four and the text on the second one to four yeah and it's looking cool right and let's do the same thing here. Change the text value to, let's see. Yeah, 1.7 seems like it's the right size. But again, it depends on the size of your font and uh, put up, depends on your typography. So you have to play around with this, but I think this is pretty cool. All right, let's publish and let's have a look. Ta-da! How cool is this, you guys? If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. If you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.